Hello, my name is Brianna Walker, Master of Arts Communications student at Queens University of Charlotte. The class is Communication Fluency, and today we will be discussing a literature review of the declining significance of historically black colleges and universities, relevance, reputation, and reality in Obama America by Christopher Brown, President of Alcorn State University, 2011 through 2013. Purpose of study. Historically black colleges and universities, HBCUs, have educated African Americans and other minorities since the late 1800s. Since their incorporation, HBCUs have experienced challenges in discrimination, admissions, public identity, and most of all, funding. Despite challenges, HBCUs still produce the majority of African American graduates who pursue professions in STEM and education and also pursue advanced degrees. The 2008 election of 44th United States President Barack Obama shines a new spotlight on HBCUs. The question, how will HBCUs progress under the new president, Donald Trump? What role will communication play in fueling the progress? This article was published in the Journal of Negro Education in the winter of 2013. The declining significance of historically black colleges and universities, relevance, reputation, and reality in Obama America provides a plethora of research and historical data on HBCUs and their fight to gain an unbiased seat at the higher education table. Brown used a total of 87 references to support his argument. Before the publication of this article, research was conducted on access to education for African Americans after the Civil War. Diversity in higher education racial justice, and the impact black colleges had on local communities and economies. I chose two key literature references out of the 87 to review. It is a known fact that there is limited access to quality education for some in our society. And in order to understand what HBCUs have faced and are currently facing, I thought it was important to review where those limitations begin and they date all the way back to slavery. The two articles I am reviewing are Still Not Equal, Expanding Educational Opportunity in Society, and A Backward Glance Forward, past, present, and future perspectives on historically black colleges and universities. Beginning in slavery, African people and their descendants were denied access to education. If discovered a slave could read, that slave could be sentenced to death. In the 1960s, policy changes were completed. However, low-income groups still did not receive equal access to education. They were not provided with the same funding or tangible resources such as textbooks. The two literature references above speak to the foundational aspect in the fight for HBCU seat of equality at the higher education table. Access to a quality education is not just an issue for African Americans, but all people. These key articles research the past and address the current struggles to gain access to education from preschool to college. These literary works establish the groundwork which Christopher Brown used in his article of Decline, Progress and Strategic Planning for Historically Black Colleges and Universities. With the election of 44th President Barack Obama, Brown researched how much minority groups had progressed in their quest to attain a quality education. Where should research go from here? Researchers should continue to investigate education patterns with low-income and minority communities. 
Further investigation should be conducted on academic performance of low-income and minority students with, a, with special attention on STEM courses. As a graduate of a historically black university, I want HBCUs to continue to flourish as vital institutions of higher learning for all people. HBCUs and HBCU alumni must share the educational advantages of attending a historically black institution of higher education. If alumni are not sharing advantages with their networks, researchers need to understand why not. What can HBCUs do to create a pipeline of communication from themselves to the new White House? I thank you so much for watching my literature review, and please feel free to leave questions or comments below. Thank you.